In this video, we're going to find the limit as x approaches negative 2 of x plus 2 all divided by x cubed plus 8. Let's go ahead and carefully work through this solution. So the first thing you want to do in problems like this is take the number, in this case negative 2, and put it everywhere you see an x. When you do that, you get negative 2 plus 2 over, and then here we're going to get negative 2 cubed plus 8. This is equal to negative 2 plus 2 is 0. On the bottom here we have negative 8 plus 8. But negative 8 plus 8 is 0, so we get 0 over 0, which is no good. There's a few ways to proceed. One way to proceed is to use factoring techniques. So there is a formula that says if you have a cubed plus b cubed, this is equal to parentheses a plus b. So you keep the sign, that's the trick, so it's plus and plus, and then parentheses a squared, and then you switch the sign. So because there's a plus, you put a minus here. So minus a b plus b squared. So in our example, we're going to apply this to x cubed plus 8. So we have x cubed plus 8, which we can write as 2 cubed. And so this is equal to parentheses x plus 2, and then parentheses, well, you square the x, so you get x squared. ab would be 2x, so minus 2x. And then b squared would be 2 squared, so 4. Very nice. So you see now the x plus 2's will cancel. Let's go ahead and write down our limit again. So we have the limit as x approaches negative 2 of x plus 2, and it's all being divided by x cubed plus 8. This is equal to the limit as x approaches negative 2 of x plus 2 over, and then we have this factorization here, which I'm just going to write down. So instead of x cubed plus 8, we have x plus 2 in parentheses. And then we have x squared minus 2x plus 4. Beautiful. And now you see that the x plus 2's cancel. We write down the limit sign again, so limit. You always want to write the limit sign down until you actually evaluate the limit. In this case, evaluating the limit means plugging the number in. Sometimes it means other things, like using a special formula. So this is x squared minus 2x plus 4. And now we're ready to evaluate the limit. So we're going to take this negative 2, and we're going to put it where all of the x's are. And when we do that, we don't write the limit sign. So this is going to be equal to 1 over, so we have negative 2 squared, minus 2 times negative 2, and then plus 4. Really important to be careful because there's a lot of negatives here. This is equal to 1 over negative 2 squared is 4. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. And we have another 4. We have 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is 12. We have 1 over 12. And that would be the value of the limit in this problem. I'm going to show you the other way to do it. Why not? So the other way to do it is to use something called L'Hopital's rule. So L'Hopital's rule can be used in certain situations. One of the situations is the situation where you get 0 over 0 in a limit process as we did here at the beginning of the problem. So if you plug in a number and you get 0 over 0, that's one situation where you can use L'Hopital's rule. To use L'Hopital's rule, all you do is you take the derivative. So the derivative uh, is intuitively the slope of the function. I'm going to write it over here. We have the limit as x approaches negative 2. And let's just apply L'Hopital's to this right away. So the derivative of x plus 2, what is that? Well, if you don't know what derivatives are, maybe the easiest way to explain it is y equals x plus 2 is a line. Think of it as y equals mx plus b. And so the slope here of the line is 1 because m is 1. So the derivative of x plus 2 is 1 over x cubed plus 8 is a little bit more complicated, so we do have to use some derivative rules. To differentiate, which means take the derivative of x cubed, you bring down the 3, and you subtract 1 from the exponent. 
That's called the power rule. And the derivative of 8, well, that's a horizontal line. And so horizontal lines have a slope of 0, so I won't write it. Now you can plug in the negative 2. You get 1 over 3 times negative 2 squared, which is 1 over 3 times 4, which is 1 over 12. It's much easier to use L'Hopital's rule. It's a very, very powerful, but as they say from those famous movies, with great power comes great responsibility. So you have to be careful to when you use L'Hopital's. Again, one case when you can use L'Hopital's is 0 over 0. And again, it does require more mathematics. You have to know what a derivative is, and you have to know some basic rules. Whereas the solution we presented the first time, that's just very, very basic and just requires factoring. So hopefully this video has been helpful and you've learned a little bit of mathematics. If you have, make sure to check out more videos. Until next time, take care.